Julie here and thank you for joining me as I plan in my classic vertical happy planner for the week of 2nd of May to the 8th. Today I'm going to be taking a break from florals as I've done quite a few floral spreads recently and I'm going to be shaking things up with the new Modern Wild sticker book and some Toy Story stickers. Before we start let's take a look back at last week's spread. This was a beautiful spread using stickers from Live Love Posh, the Blue Blooms book and Pastel Tropics from Happy Planner. Really loved doing this one, but felt the need for a complete change this week. So let's take the pages out of the planner and get started. Going to start by looking through the Modern Wild sticker book and finding some stickers that I think I might want to use. This is a brand new sticker book, only the second I've got from the Happy Planner Spring release. You may have seen my recent haul video from Joanne, but if you haven't, I'll link it on the screen. And as soon as I got it, I knew I wanted to pair it with Toy Story. I think it was something to do with the earth tones that just made me think about cowboys and I felt like the colours matched really well. So let's see what we've got. There is always a reason to smile. I want quite positive quotes to go with the whole Toy Story theme. Be brave, find your wild. Let's take this one. Today was great. Definitely want to use these bullet points this week. I try to vary how I do my checklists. I use the checklist stencil quite often, but I try to alternate that with using the checklist strips and using the bullet points. I think this colour goes with Woody's shirt, so let's take that one out, wild and free. And initially I did have the idea of decorating this with the leopard print and having Woody standing on it, but I've actually changed my mind and think it might look better to have Woody maybe layered with some of these stickers, sort of standing on some of them, I don't know, that's sort of how my idea has sort of changed and evolved as I've started looking at these stickers, but I definitely want to use some of these quotes and I think that one's a really good one, always be kind and brave, I can never get these clear stickers out so I might need to get my pokey tool to help me, don't know about you, you have problems with the clear stickers. This one, Life is an Adventure, is very similar to Today Was Great, so I'm not sure if I prefer Life is an Adventure, but it fits more in with a film, or whether I might want one on both sides. Really lovely book this, really pleased that I got it, and I'm trying to use the stickers that I get straight away. Always do need a double box. Take a walk on the wild side, maybe. Happy vibes. One of those. Let's have happy vibes. Keep life fun, that seems perfect for Toy Story. So these are the main stickers that I've picked out, but I will be going back to the book to pick out some more. So my natural instinct is to head for this corner, although I do tend to use the corner a lot in my spreads and I was thinking maybe I should shake it up a bit this week, but I uh, wanted to pair that with Woody. Or maybe... But then that takes rather a lot of space if I have it there. So I think the corner is probably going to be my go-to. And then I could have another quote maybe here and here. Try to vary it. Or what about maybe going in the middle for a change? Maybe let's do that for something different. Just going to white out the lines. Decided today that I don't want the black lines showing through. 
when I put the quote down. I tend to get very stuck on where to put stickers and take a long time about it and I really do want to learn to be a little bit quicker. That's not straight. I wish I could be a little bit less fussy at times. Let's try again. Oh, that's definitely not straight. Finding this really hard today. I think that's more or less straight. Yeah, I think that will do. I think I'm going to use this Life is an Adventure sticker because I had the idea of layering Woody on top of a sticker rather than just putting him down. So I'll see if it will fit. Hopefully it will. And let's have him... Moved. Have him like that. Like that. So now to balance things up, I want quotes on the other side, and I'm going to have two one at the top, one at the bottom. So I've got this happy vibes and keep life fun. I'm also going to want to have a character with them. So I was thinking Jess with the, I don't know. Happy vibes, maybe, and keep life fun. Thinking maybe the dog. I'm afraid it's been a while since I've seen Toy Story 4, can't remember the name. So, have Jess down in the corner. I've layered Jess with that sticker because it just matches with how I've layered Woody over there. So, let's just put her in the box there and add the happy vibes so I think the dog will look all right there I've put the quote so it's a little bit higher and so he can sit on the line just about there Next, I think I'll put my bullet points in because then that will show me what room I've got left to place the boxes and help me not to agonise too much about where to place them. These are really super tiny bullet points from this page. I normally cut my bullet points in half, but these are so small, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So let's see. So the checklists are done, in case you're wondering, yes I am fussy about how far apart they are but I don't get my ruler out and actually measure. So now it's time for boxes, I think I need a double box in this corner here, I think I will layer it with one of these boxes. I don't like these ones where they cut the corner out for the monthly so that it will show the number but I can cut it down and just have it showing at the top and no one will know. May not even need to cut it down, it doesn't really show, just a little bit. So how are you doing? Have you made your wish list for the Happy Planner back to school release? You might have seen my video where I looked at the items and said which ones I thought I might have on my list. I think we'll just put that one there. Oh, so not straight. That's better. So we're going to have it that way. Or I think, I think 
I'll have it that way. See if I can get this one straight. I think there were some really nice items, but nothing that I am too desperate to get hold of. Just really quite liked that large villains book. I'm planning to do some more villain spreads but it's tricky to be able to get hold of them here in England. So we'll just have to see. Stickers are not cooperating this week. That will have to do. I can't find a box to fit that space there, so I think I'm just going to add a few more bullet points to this section. I think I'll use this double box sticker here in the corner. Use these monthly boxes up here I think. Um, I want to have them, I think because those are going that way I want to have them going this way but I want this one at the top. So. And then just overlap it so you can't tell it's a monthly box. And we'll put something there. How about this little to-do sticker? That should hopefully disguise it. Another sticker I'm going to cut up. Just going to cut this extra bit off here so that it can fit in the box down here. Thinking of taking a chance and using one of these curved stickers, the colour obviously coordinates and I thought if I put it here then I can have something for the dog to sit on. So it should just fit in the box here. And to balance it up I need to have one over here so let's just see, should just be able to might have to lift Woody's hat up. Let's see. I think I managed to get Woody's hat up just about. And I'm not very keen on the black, so I'm just going to find something to cover those two. We've got you got this. I know it's bringing in some foil. Don't think we've got any foil anywhere else. Oh, just a tiny bit of gold around the edge there. Hopefully this will cover this up. I know we have got a little bit of black in the spread, but I just felt like that was just too powerful. Just had to lift the dog's paw up so that it wasn't covered. If you know the name of the dog, is he slinky? I mean, that's what he's got, a slinky. Maybe that is what his name is. Let me know in the comments. So I've got stick to it here. Stick to the plan. Get those jobs done. Just the finishing touches now. I'm going to add, I've got this to this box here. And then to balance it up, we've got this Cheers to the Weekend sticker. Oh, it's a bit long, but it looks okay. I took this to-do sticker and cut the top off because I don't want the to-do because it's so black. But I just felt like there was a gap here, so I'm just going to see if that will help fill the gap a little bit. 
I quite like that. It matches the pattern here. So either add it at the bottom here or maybe turn it up. Yeah, I think turn it up the other way and have it at the top. Really loving how it looks. Just going to take one last look. There is a bit of a gap here. And there are these gaps here, but obviously I do want some space to write in. And I'm just not very keen on this pink, so I might just change that. Change it for this one. So much fun. Definitely looks better. I think we're done. Really pleased with it. I feel like it balances really well. And I've actually stuck to just one sticker book for the entire spread, which is very rare. Hope you've enjoyed watching this plan with me. I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that bell to be notified when there's a new video. I try to post at least two videos a week and to keep them quite short because I know how busy we are with all our plans. If you're planning on buying from the Happy Planner back to school release, I hope you managed to pick up the things that you wanted. Thanks so much for watching. Happy planning. Take care and see you soon.